Hello and welcome to Devil's Advocate. How does the CPM respond to criticism and anger against its behavior in Nandigram? That's the key issue I should explore today with Politburo member Brinda Karat. Mrs. Karat, let me start with the obvious question. How embarrassed are you by the behavior of your party cadres in Nandigram? It is a matter of concern that uh, the way Nandigram has been reported, uh, an image is sought to be created about the CPIM cadre. Um, the fact of the matter is that we have lost 28 of our cadre in this period. Uh, so it's really not a question of embarrassment, it's a question of deep concern. You're expressing concern at the way it's reported. Let me instead quote to you the governor. He calls the behavior of your cadre totally unlawful and unacceptable. Ministers in your own government have now said it's become difficult to show our face before the public. Your own allies say the CPM alone is responsible. And instead, you're not embarrassed, but you're blaming the press for the way they've reported it? I would say that there has been a very one-sided reporting on Nandikram. And it is really for that reason that I have said that I'm extremely concerned but about it. But aren't you now it. concerned about for, your cadre as well, reporting apart? I, if you can give me specific instances of what you're referring to, then, you know, I could certainly respond to it. With but pleasure. But it's sort of a general Let remark. Let me give you instances. My cadre, my cadre has been at the receiving end of it for 11 months. Telegraph newspaper, 7th of November, nearly 10,000 villagers fled as CPM cadre started setting one house after another on fire. Let me give you another example. A large number of armed persons from outside the district have, it is undeniable, forced themselves upon the people of Nandigram. That's the governor of the state. Well, the governor, in fact, is quite right in saying a large number of outside people have come. CPM people. And now, people. And now people. excuse me, and now there is ample evidence to show who those outside people are. Today, it is simply astounding and amazing to me that on the one hand, you have forces who say they are so concerned about Maoist infiltration in this country. And on the other hand, in Nandigram, where huge caches of arms, landmines, 75 detonators I'll have been found. I'll come to all of that. But Nobody let's stick to, to the subject I raised. That. I'll come to yes. that. Let's stick to the subject so, I so raised. You raise the CPM carters have raped women. The Indian Express is carrying front page stories for the last three days. Houses have been burnt. Please, Thousands first let of me people respond. have been made no, no, homeless. First, first and you are respond. not embarrassed no, by this. Yes, there's not a question. If it is true and it is being verified, it's not a question of CPM card. If any woman in Nandigram has been raped in the last five days, let me assure you that this is a government which will ensure the strictest, most stringent punishment. But at the moment, and I'm I sitting also, in front of a Politburo member yes. who's not even prepared to accept embarrassment at the behavior of your card. How can we believe no, your government please, will react when uh, you won't express embarrassment? Again, I will tell you, embarrassment about what? You have the to be behavior specific. Of the what I'm saying is, if there is any verifiable report Looting about homes, burning rape. homes, raping women, making people homeless, no, please, rendering but, perhaps thousands please, homeless. For goodness sake, Karan, please, just let's get things in perspective. The fact of the matter is, there have been houses looted, there have been houses plundered. For the last 11 months, 3,500 people have not been allowed into Nandigram. Why is that? This is the question. Would you like to ask me that question? I'll ask you Why that question. That, that okay. question points towards the same issue that I'm raising. A government that did not carry out its duties and functions to assure law and order and the safety of people. Let me tell you, Sumit Sarkar, a lifelong supporter of the left, has likened Nandigram to Gujarat. He says it has to be condemned in the strongest possible words. Your closest supporters say this, and you're not one bit um, embarrassed? You know, I have a great deal of respect for Sumit, um, you know, as a historian, but he has never been a supporter of the CPIM. So, you know, let's All be right. clear on the record. Let's leave and anyway, I don't then. want to go into individuals, Karan. Leave but, Sumit out of it. No, I accept. Exactly. Let me then but point towards all the point. other left supporters. Karan, may I just make this point, Rinal please? Sen, Gautam Ghosh, Pranodas Bol, Aparna Sen, Rutaparno Ghosh, Jogan Chaudhary, 60,000 people marched in silence through the streets of Calcutta, pointing the finger of blame at the CPM, and you're not even a little embarrassed? No, I'm not embarrassed. I'm deeply concerned that this should have happened. I'm deeply concerned about it. It's happened as, because they're as, losing as people in your party. As a member of the CPIM, I'm deeply concerned about A, the fact that there should be such a gap between what is the reality and how it is perceived. And I would like to stress this, that I don't believe that 
their poor and our poor. I believe that the people of Nandigram, regardless of their political affiliation, have every right to live in their houses, to be assured of security, and to be protected so they can continue their lives pause, in a normal way. Pause for, I, a moment, I, I, pause for a moment and think of what you've just said. You said you're concerned between the gap between reality and how it's perceived. Today, most people say that in Bengal, there is a rift between the CPM on the one hand and the rest of the state on the other. What, in effect, you're saying is that the CPM is right, everyone else in Bengal is wrong. Look, I, I'm not saying that at all. I respect the work of many of these artists and intellectuals, but I am a bit puzzled. For 11 months, when 3,500 poor people, scheduled caste people, minority people, agricultural workers, were out in the camps, did they accept what Mamata Banerjee said then, that this is just drama? Where were they? I want to know that. Can I answer that? I'm concerned Can I answer that? Can I answer that? Can I answer that? that? Even if you're right at pointing towards what I think you're suggesting, a sort of double standards on the part of these protesters, does that in any way justify the violence that was unleashed, the looting, the killing, the burning of houses and the raping? Even if in double the standards last, are there, does it justify this please, behavior? I can never, I, I have told you, if there is a single case of rape proved, my party, my government will take the most stringent action, unlike, let me complete my sentence, unlike those in the BUPC who prevented the Women's Commission from inquiring into the rape of a young girl of 14, raped and killed, the rape of another woman called Kakoli Giri, raped and not allowed to go in. The Women's Commission was not allowed to inquire I, into I let you unlike mention them. these rapes in detail. I could counter by mentioning I'm, the details no, from the I'm Indian saying, Express. No, there I'm are details saying, of rapes on the Karen, Indian Express front Karen, page please, for the last I, three days. I, I, Let's I'm not the, make it a tutu memo. I agree. I am the last person the last person to have a debate on rape like this. Then let's, I say, then let's pull unlike, back from rape. No, let's pull back from rape. I want and to let make me, this point. Unlike what the BUPC and the leaders of the so-called Land Defense Committee did when women were raped. They did not allow the Women's Commission to go in. They did not allow the At the, the moment, you're not acknowledging we the rapes either. It. You're no different. I'm you are not acknowledging please, they've happened. You're not I, acknowledging the complicity Karen, of your cadres in them. Please, please, Karan, let me make it absolutely clear. The rape case has been filed by the police. Investigation is on. Names have been mentioned by the victim, and it is being verified. The strongest how, action is going to be taken. Forgive me. I can how tell you is that. your There's attitude no morally better than that of the people you're criticizing when your own chief minister has gone on record to say that the violence and the killing means that the BUPC have been paid back in the same coin, his words identically. How can your attitude be better when the Indian Express claims that Buddha Dev Bhattacharji has said that what happened in Nandigram is morally and legally justifiable. I mean, quite frankly, don't keep quoting the Indian Express because I'm I think Buddha that's... That, that, so let's leave the paper... He hasn't denied because it. Because I he want defended to go it, in else. fact. But he what defended saying, what he said. What the Chief Minister said, I'm not going to be able to comment on that. But what I why can... Not? Why not? I'll tell you why. But what I can comment on is the entire interview, not just one sentence of it. And in the entire interview, what the Chief Minister has very correctly said, he's raised three points. One, the violence of 11 months where 3,500 people were not allowed to go home. And his conclusion, Two, therefore the BUPC no. have been paid back in the same coin. No, that means he's I, justifying I, the violence no, the in we, terms of previous violence. It's tit will, for tat, I, eye for eye, no, truth for truth. Never. I want to make it absolutely clear. So then are you embarrassed people, by the Chief Minister's know. choice of words no, and language? No, what I would say are you standing is, by I it? would... I would say, Karan, I don't want to say yes or no and this is correct and that is incorrect. I put the statement in the context of what he said that this is not the way that it is being reported. 3,500 people driven to desperation. And now 10,000 perhaps driven no, to desperation in the, return. So does that make the way, it somehow balanced figures, and equal and acceptable? Those, those figures are entirely wrong. Uh, your figures For are the correct, first other time, people's figures no, are wrong. these are figures which have been verified there by the police, this is, by the CRP. Let me make a simple point. The CPM used to have this. moral authority on its side. When you took on the BJP in Gujarat, you did so with the morality of the situation in your favor. Today, your chief minister sounds reminiscent of Narendra Modi when Modi was alleged to have said that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. That's the extent to which the CPM has damaged itself. 
Well, you may think so. You have every right to hold that opinion. But what I would like to say is, again, firstly, this is the only chief minister in the country who committed himself to a political process to bring the opposition round at a time when he made it clear that he's not going to take over land. This is correct. I, I challenge This chief minister critics. took nine oh, months I... to pay compensation to the people killed and injured on March the 14th. Please, nine months. Again, he again. only woke up to it on the 8th of November. That is absolutely... And you know what the High Court in Calcutta said? That what he's offering is derisory. They've demanded that he increase the sums by over 150%. His actions are perhaps worse than his rhetoric. I don't agree with that at all, because as far as the compensation is concerned, the Chief Minister made it very clear on the first day itself that the government was committed to giving compensation. And now you're committed to appealing Minister, against the High Court telling you to pay more? No, let me just clarify that, because you know the High Court order, and I, and I think you would also agree with me, that what is the High Court order and its implications? I'm not going into whether we're appealing or not, that's for the government to decide, but very quickly, Karan. A state in a country where in a particular area it is declared that the administration is not going to be allowed in. Roads are dug up, bridges are broken, culverts are dug up. When the police go in, they are lynched. And then, if the government tries to send its police force in, the High Court says, withdraw your police. No, now, the what High Court I'm is saying, saying is that the shooting of 14 people and the injuring of perhaps as many as 160 was totally unconstitutional. The High Court is saying that, that the government must make reparations. The High Court is saying increase what you're offering from two lakhs to five. And what are you saying in response? That you're considering appealing against it. We are, please again let me say that. And forgive me, let me interrupt I want you. To use what the happened word to taking action no, against the ask. killers? That hasn't no, even happened. No, please, just one minute. Karen, now you're mixing up so many things, it's difficult to answer the question. The first question is about the High Court. What exactly does the High Court mean when it says unconstitutional? Against is the it, Constitution, it, very simple. Exactly. So is it within the Constitution, is it, is the High Court hold? That, and what are the implications for Is what within the Within the Constitution to cut off an entire area in a state from the administration. But the High Court Is was, that constitutional? The, but hang on a moment. The High Court no, wasn't looking at like that picture. The High why? Court was looking at the why? picture why? of the reparation. They were, uh, no, they were responding me. to a specific now, petition to do with the failure of the government asked, to give compensation. You asked That's what the High Court looked at. As as You're raising extraneous and... issues. No, And you know I why know. you are? Because confusing the matter Excuse helps me, defend Karen, the Chief Minister. Excuse me, Karen. You asked the question constitutional. I'm asking a counter question. But killing is unconstitutional. I want to talk about the, him saying, the High Court saying, it's unconstitutional. Nine months have passed and no action taken against the killers of 14 people? None whatsoever. The governor complains in the strongest terms. The High Court yesterday upbraided the government and has asked the CBI to step in. And you're still not embarrassed? My dear Karen, let me again remind you that without even asking the state government, the High Court intervened and ordered a CBI inquiry. Because the state government wasn't and acting, that's why. Within 12 hours, the state government acted immediately. But let me just tell but you, the CBI... But nothing nine months. Because the CBI is inquiring into it. Baba wants the CBI to inquire into the government can't act. It has to wait for you the CBI You made the CBI inquiry. an excuse for your inaction. Now look at that. Now, isn't that absurd? Well, <laughs> you are saying... While that. you're smiling, let's take a break, because that's a good, suitable moment to repair relations. That's in a moment's time. See you after the break. Welcome back to Devil's Advocate and an interview with CPM Politburo member Brinda Karat. Mrs. Karat, let's turn to the predicament of your chief minister. I put it to you today, he is the biggest loser. His reputation is damaged as a chief minister, his credibility is damaged as a moral authority, and his image in the country is damaged. I don't agree with that at all. Is that the only defense you're going to put up? I don't agree with those assertions that you're making. People used to this think of This is the only him. chief minister in the whole country who has tried very hard for a political process with opponents who answer with arms. Uh, this is a chief minister, the only one in the whole country, who has said that there will be no land acquisition if the people don't want it. And, and people who makes don't a believe public him. statement. And people don't believe him. I don't agree with that. It's a very motivated political alliance which is doing this. I mean, think about it. But From the Maoists the to the BJP be to the TMC the to the Congress. The people don't have faith I mean, in the chief minister. The no. people of Nandigram have lost faith in Buddhadev Bhattacharji, which is why they are prepared to be swayed by your opponents. I don't think so. I think there has been a, um, a very strong armed presence in that area, which has terrorized people. 
And I think as the days go by, you will find a, a lot more evidence of the truth of what I Let me saying. put it like this. Buddhadev Bhattacharji was considered, until very recently, a sensitive visionary. Today he's looked upon as a cold calculating apparatchik. That's the extent of his fall. Well, I mean, I don't know these descriptions because you're so good at, you know, this wonderful, colorful language. As far as we are concerned, Buddhadev Bhattacharya is a leader of the party. He led the party in the elections and he won a three-fourths majority. And he has the support of the people of West Bengal. And the West Bengal government is under political attack because it is following alternative policies which are not liked by certain sections. The West Bengal government no doubt is under political attack, but in fact the problem is the CPI, the RSP and the four blocks say it's under attack from the CPM. They say, and I'm quoting, the CPM alone is responsible. Your party is the problem. Your chief minister's handling is the problem. Uh, let me put it this way. As the largest party in the alliance, we have been uh, singularly responsible for keeping the alliance going. And even now, I would agree that it is our main responsibility to keep the alliance going, to address the issues which are being The raised. reason it's your responsibility now is because you're the ones responsible for damaging the alliance now. That's why you have to accept responsibility. Well, there are many ups and downs in alliances, Karan, and I'm confident because we are... Um, we, we believe in a certain trajectory of development and uh, I believe that the left front in West Bengal will continue even though its opponents are really waiting for the day when it can break oh, up. Oh, no doubt the left front in Bengal will continue. Governments limp along to the last dying day because no politician ever wants to relinquish office. The problem is that for 30 years the CPM were considered invincible. Now you've inflicted upon yourself a moral defeat of unimaginable proportions. And if you won't even accept the enormity of what you've done, then I put it to you, the situation is a lot worse than it seems. You know, I think we are the one party who uh, have the capacity and who do. We have an internal process of uh, analyzing and criticizing and pinpointing where our weaknesses have been. To recover and now, I'm you sure have to believe in resurrection. Well, I don't know about these, you know, um, these um, analogies which you are talking. Resurrection means that you've been dead and buried, as far as I You're understand pretty the close Bible. To that pitiable but state. I think That's what I, I'm saying. I, I'm sorry, Karen. I, I must tell you that even very recently in the by-elections which have been held, including in the neighboring area of Haldia, we won a very convincing majority, in spite of the fact that there was a big gang up against us. The situation us. So, changed so my dear in the Karen, last I'm, one I'm month. I'm afraid you'll the have to wait for that. The situation changed in the last two weeks. You know, this you know is, that. No, I'm, I'm sorry, you're, you're completely mistaken, because in the last two weeks, in fact, I think more and more people are understanding the tinderbox that Nandi Gram had become. More and more Can people are equating you to the BJP, they're equating Buddhadev Bhattacharji to Narendra Modi, the moral authority which was really your biggest plus point, has been eroded. Don't you regret the fact West that the Bengal moral authority today, of the CPM is damaged? West Bengal today is the one state where minorities can live in security. Oh, ask that, that of the, the people of Nandigram to see is, what answer you yes, get. Yes, yes, they, we, we will get that You've answer. You've got Muslim people and we have got barricading the, the streets of we Calcutta got, in defiance of the government we, because we they believe got, minorities have suffered. Please remember, among those 3,500 people, there were a large number of poor Muslims. Absolutely, and so Muslims have lost out both ways. Are, no matter who did it, Muslims have suffered. And, and the West Bengal government and the West Bengal government committed to its secular position will ensure the protection of the poor, of the minorities, and of all those who have been affected by the developments in Nandigram since January, the government uh, I, is going to take I responsibility. Hope, and I can assure you of that. I hope the people of Nandigram are not just listening, but actually want to believe you. Mrs. Karat, a pleasure.